After winning his sixth NBA championship, Michael Jordan retired from the NBA. Later down the line, he ended up joining the Washington Wizards, but before that, he was considering joining the Los Angeles Lakers. After Shaq and Kobe won a chip, MJ decided not to. He didn't want to be a part of a super team. But what if Michael Jordan joined Shaq and Kobe in the year 2000? If Mike played all the way up until 2003, could this team absolutely dominate? And what would a duo of MJ and Kobe look like? Now, obviously, we can't have both MJ and Kobe playing the two because we want both of these guys in the starting lineup. And since Kobe's a little bit younger, we'll give him the challenge of playing small forward and guarding some of those elite wings in the league. Season one is coming to a close and we might crack 70 wins. We did. Shout out to Shaq. He ends up winning the MVP. You're talking about the most dominant force in NBA history. Kenya Martin, Rookie of the Year, Ricky Davis, Six Man, Ben Wallace, DPOY, Chauncey Billups, Most Improved, and Phil Jackson, the Coach of the Year. I forgot to mention this earlier, but that's another reason MJ wanted to play for the Lakers because they were coached by Phil. Kobe was named to the All-NBA second team, averaging 28 points per game, and he was playing alongside the MVP. No All-NBA for Michael Jordan this season, but he's an old man. It's okay. We'll give him a little pass. Checking out the stats for Mike, though, it's not like he was a slouch or anything. He averaged over 21 points per game on the season, ended off the year on a 14-game win streak. Round number one, we're taking on the San Antonio Spurs, and this is going to be a gentleman sweep. Round two, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves. We're going to gentlemen sweep them. Conference finals, we're taking on the seven-seeded Phoenix Suns. They're okay. They got Jason Kidd, Sean Marion. Not a bad team by any means, but I think we were better. I mean, we got Kobe, we got Mike, we got Shaq. So we're going to make our way to the finals fairly easily. And now we're going to be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. This Bucks team, they've got Sam Cassell, Ray Allen, Glenn Robinson, but compared to us, is it really any comp? Game number one is going to go to us. Game two goes to us. Uh-oh, Mike and Kobe might just have a super team here. We'll give the Bucks a pity game. No, don't, don't blow the 3-0, guys. Okay, we get the job done in six. Shout out to Shaq. He's the top dog on a team with Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Checking out the playoff stats, Mike upped his play for the playoffs, but we expect that. You know, he's Michael Jordan. Kobe upped his play for the playoffs. Horace Grant was doing his thing, former Michael Jordan teammate, playing alongside him once again. And Shaq, of course, he was hooping, averaging five assists per game in the playoffs. I, I didn't know Shaq had a little magic in him. He was dishing out assists. He... This is what the team is looking like going into season number two. Mike's only going to have another season after this because he ended up retiring in 03. We've still pretty much got the same basketball team, which is fine. I mean, we were really good last season. Kobe said it's my turn. Took home an MVP this season. Gilbert Arenas, Rookie of the Year. Ricky Davis, six man. Him, Duncan, DPOY. Larry Hughes, most improved. And Phil Jackson, takes home the coach of the year another one we won 70 games once again kobe bryant all nba first team shaq all nba first team this team has two all nba first team basketball players and not to mention you know michael jordan is on the team as well imagine how overpowered this squad would have been Another great year for Michael Jordan as well. Here's Tyron Lue. I wonder if AI will step over him this time. We'll have to see. Round number one, we're taking on the Utah Jazz. They're the eighth seed. We're going to go ahead and sweep them. Round two, we got the Seattle Sonics. We're up three to one against them. And boom, just like that, we are in the conference finals taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves who have Kevin Garnett, Chauncey Billups. Not a bad team, don't get me wrong, but I think we should be able to beat them. Game number one is going to go to us. Game two goes to us as well. We're up three to zero in the series and we're going to go ahead and sweep the Timberwolves. We've got our rematch, the Milwaukee Bucks. Last year, we ended up beating them in six. We'll see if it's different this time. Game number one is going to go to us. Game two goes to us. And we are up three to zero. Looks like we might have another easy chip. And we do. Shaq takes home the finals MVP, averaging 36 over 17 boards and adding on five assists per night. Three blocks. Yeah. Shaquille was ridiculous. As for Kobe, he did his thing. 31 points per game 
averaged over 32 in the regular season. And Mike, he pretty much kept his numbers the same from the regular season. We got one more year left. Let's see if we can complete this three-peat. And maybe year three will be a little bit more difficult. Michael Jordan down to a 87, Shaq down to a 96, but Kobe's up to a 99, so maybe it won't be. As for the supporting cast, it's not great, but I don't think it really matters. I mean, we got the GOAT on the team, Brian Scalabrini, of course. Looks like we might have a little bit of comp this last year. We're creeping up on 60 wins at the end of the season, but it's not like we're a 70 win dominant super team or anything. So maybe some team could actually compete with us. Shaq takes home the MVP award this season. Yao Ming, Rookie of the Year, Ricky Davis, Six Man, Ben Wallace, DPOY, and Spencer Whitehead, Most Improved. Stacey Miller is the coach of our team. Man, we need Phil as our coach. No, no disrespect to whoever Stacey Miller is, but why is Phil not coaching? Anyway, Shaq was all NBA first. Kobe was all NBA second. 31 a game. He's just going crazy. And MJ didn't end up making any all NBA teams. We were really close to the Timberwolves this year. In the Western Conference, they won 63 games. We won 64. And Michael Jordan, oh man. Yeah, it's about time to retire, old man. You're falling off. But I'm hoping this year will be a more eventful year in the playoffs. I know we won chips the last couple years. But I want us to hop in and see Kobe and Mike in action. Round number one, we're taking on Dirk, Michael Finley. Yeah, this team isn't that crazy. Game number one is going to go to us. Game two is going to go to them. Okay, maybe they're better than I expected. We're up two to one, and we're going to take a 3-1 lead. So we'll go ahead and advance in a gentleman sweep. Now we're taking on the Memphis Grizzlies in round two. They got Richard Jefferson, Mike Bibby, Mo Pete, Sharif Abdurrahim. Not a great team. Game number one is going to go to us. Game two is going to go to us. Game three is going to go to us and we're in the conference finals. Now, Minnesota, they've had a very easy path to the conference finals thus far as well. So I'm thinking this is the team that might really give us some competition with their dynamic duo of Chauncey Billups and Kevin Garnett. So I'm gonna simcast all these games because I'd love to see some Mike and Kobe gameplay. Well, my plan to simcast is going absolutely swimmingly. That's the word of the day. A little over 50 seconds to go. Chauncey Billups has the ball, a little spin move. He's trying to work on whoever's guarding him. He's going to pass it to the corner to Kevin Garnett. Garnett over to Manu. Oh, they got Manu on the team too. Okay, they definitely got a team. Manu's defended by Michael Jordan. Ball's going to go over to Mike Miller. Miller over to Chauncey Billups. We just need some lockdown defense here. Shot clock winding down. Ball goes to Mike Miller over to Ginobili. Great defense by MJ and we're going to get the rebound. Okay, we got a chance to tie the game here with a two-pointer, take the lead with a three. Derek Fisher has the ball. Fisher over to Shaq, over to Michael Jordan. MJ, will he take the last shot? He's going to get the screen from Shaq. Mike, he's working in the mid-range. He's going to swing it to Kobe. Kobe pulls it, and he's going to hit it. Michael Jordan to Kobe, the MJ to Kobe connection to tie up the game with a little over five seconds to go. Ball's going to go into Chunk. Monty Billups. Billups looks like he's taking the last shot here. He's working in the mid-range and he misses it. We're headed to overtime here. Let's hop into the Simcast and see if it gets close in the final minutes of OT. We've got a close one and this feels like a perfect time to do it. I don't know if I beg for subscribers yet, but if you haven't subbed, I got a big goal. 20k by the end of the year and it's going to take a lot to reach that. So if you enjoy the content, subscribe. If you don't, don't subscribe. Derek Fisher gets the screen from Shaq. Ball goes down to Kobe Bryant. Kobe's just gonna pull it and he hits it oh my goodness 99 overall Kobe he's just on a different level right now Billups at the top of the key looks like he's really just taking his time waiting for the play to develop he's gonna get the screen and a nice pass down to Muhammad no interior defense by Shaquille and Muhammad's gonna go ahead and easily lay it in Kobe Bryant has the ball. Kobe working on his man. Oh, the float game. Oh, it looked really good. He had a lot of room there, but he ended up missing it. Anderson defended by Michael Jordan. Anderson trying to score. He's going to pass it over to Mike Miller. Miller back to Anderson. Open three, and he's going to miss, but Muhammad, he's cooking in clutch time. Shaq, he got pulled out to the perimeter, and Muhammad ended up going ahead and getting that board, laying it up and in. 
Derek Fisher going to get the screen from Shaq. Down to Kobe in the post. Kobe, he's double teamed. You might want to swing the rock. Out to MJ. Michael Jordan, he did the signature MJ ball fake. He's working on his man. Trying to make something happen. Shot clock winding down. He he's kind of getting clamped right now. No, he's not. He got some room. Shaq with the rebound. And he's going to lay it up and in. Shaq was there to clean up that mess of a play. Michael Jordan with 24 points on the night. We're down by one here. A little over 40. 30 seconds to go. Anderson gonna get the screen up top and it looks like their bigs like wide open. Okay, no. Mike Miller's gonna get the three. Oh my gosh. Mike Miller got some room on the three-point line and he's gonna hit it. He's a sharpshooter. We really did not want to give that up there. Now we're down four. Less than 30 seconds to go. Are we going to go to Mike here? Shaq, Kobe. I mean, we really need a three. So I think our best bet might be Kobe Bryant here in clutch time. But we're going to go to Michael Jordan. He smoked the layup. No. Wow. He ends up missing the lay-in. And unless we get lucky and Chauncey misses one, we're probably done for here in game number one. So this isn't about to be as easy as it was those previous two championships. Chauncey's having a stinker. 16 points on 31% shooting. But I mean, hey, they're beating us right now. I'll, I'll hold out hope for a quick little three. But if we don't hit something here, we're getting out of here and headed to game two. Last chance here to try and save this game. I know who I want it to go to. Brian Scalabrini. But instead, we're going to give it to Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant working on Mike Miller. Kobe oh bully boy he's too strong he's gonna keep us in this game but we're gonna have to hope on some missed free throws Anderson's going to the free throw line I mean I'd rather him go to the line than Chauncey Billups Nick Anderson he has oh he's the dude who missed those free throws on the magic isn't he he's the one who like missed the free throws when he was playing with Shaq if you know you know man but anyway Anderson's gonna knock both of these down they're up six Let's just hope for a quick three. If not, yeah, this one's pretty much over. Derek Fisher taking a sweet time. It's over to Scalabrini. Oh, it would have been beautiful if he hit that shot, but he didn't. We end up losing. Kobe had 41. Shaq 35 and 20. And Mike with 24. So the big three clicking on all cylinders for sure. But KG had a triple-double. Nick Anderson had a big game. He's only been averaging about 10 in the playoffs. Gives him 27 in this one. Nazi Muhammad puts up 26 man they had like a, a historic role player game all their role players were going crazy in game number one but now it's time for game two we're hopping right back in the simcast because i had so much fun in game one did y'all really think Kobe was going to let us lose two in a row? No. He drops 56, 10 rebounds. He got to the free throw line 21 times. Maybe a bit of a foul merchant game, but but I mean 17 for 23 from the field. Beautiful from Kobe Bryant. Shaq with 24 and 18. Mike, you know what? We'll give you a pass. You're old. Your knees probably hurt. Kevin Garnett had 28 and 20. Chauncey Billups had 25 and 14. But guess what? That wasn't enough because we're better. Kobe's better. Let's hop back into the Simcast for game three. Kobe's just on a different level right now. 35 points. Shaq, 29 and 18. Mike, you know, oh, he's kind of hooving in the playoffs. I can't even say too much. He's averaging over 20 points per game. A bit of a rough one. I mean, 16. That's, that's not too bad, though. Kevin Garnett with 24. Chauncey Billups with 20. We end up getting the dub. We could take a 3-1 lead here in game number four. So this series is about to be a battle. Kobe had 31, Mike had 18, Shaq with 21, but it wasn't enough because Mike Miller, 36 points. Kevin Garnett, 13 assists. He was dishing it out. And now we're all tied up at two apiece, headed into game number five. Kobe came to play in game five, 30 points, Shaq 26 and 15, Mike with 22, and Brian Scalabrini with a mean 15 points. Kevin Garnett, 37 and 17 but it wasn't enough and now we've got a chance to close out minnesota in game six what were the t wolves even meant to do kobe shaq and mj combined for a hundred points on the dot kobe with 42 shaq with 41 and michael jordan with 17 so shaq and kobe alone combined for 83 points in this game what are you supposed to do when shaq is shooting 11 of 14 from the free throw line yeah y'all are cooked we're going on to the nba finals for our yearly 
We're going on to the NBA Finals for our yearly battle against the Milwaukee Bucks. Their team looks pretty similar to usual. Did they have Glenn Robinson before? I think they did. I mean, their team's all right. But again, I think this is a beatable team. But since I want to see more MJ and Kobe gameplay, we're definitely going to be hopping into the Simcast for Game 1 of the series. In game one, we're down by six points. This isn't like the previous years where we could just beat up on the Milwaukee Bucks as Kobe Bryant turns it over. Milwaukee has a chance to further balloon their lead here. Michael Jordan, we need some lockdown defense out of you. Michael Red open for three and it's good. Bro, Michael Red is crazy in these Sims. I remember another vid where he was knocking down so many shots. Ball's going to go into Kobe Bryant. We're in a pretty tough spot here down by nine points, but if anybody can get it done, our big three can do it. Out to MJ in the corner. Come on, Mike. We need it. Michael Jordan going to answer back with the three-pointer. In the wise words of Chris Smoove, they need a timeout. We're within six points here. Let's get a stop. Milwaukee going to inbound it to Sam Cassell. Cassell defended by Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher with the headband on, playing some nice defense. Why would you foul? You were doing so well. I'm guessing Sam Cassell is probably going to make both of these. Hey, Sam, miss this one if you're bold. Come on, just miss one for me, please. We need it. And he's going to hit both, putting the Milwaukee Bucks up by eight. We probably need a quick three here. Maybe Mike can get us another one of those corner threes. Maybe Kobe can just hit one in somebody's face but instead we're going to Kobe in the post out to Derek Fisher you know Derek Fisher's clutch I already knew that was about to go in we're within five points big shot by deep fish making up for that foul earlier it's gonna go over to Thomas Thomas over to Allen over to Cassell shot clock winding down and Brian Scalabrini is gonna foul them when they're in the bonus what are you doing Brian I, I thought you were the goat and now the Bucks have a chance to take a seven point lead Cassell is gonna convert on both free throws again so we've hit some big threes here but we just keep doing stupid stuff on the defensive side Kobe gonna give it to Mike Mike gonna get the screen and he's gonna call timeout yeah the team's looking flustered off the way we're playing defense Probably our last chance here. We're in need of a bucket. Ball is going to go into Kobe. Oh, no. It's going to go to Michael Jordan in the post. Terrible shot. What are you doing, Mike? We need a three-pointer. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're back in it. I was, about to, I was about to just leave, but it's 112, 115 here. Okay. We've still got a foul, but, I mean, if they miss one or something, there might be a chance here for us to get back in it. And Sam Cassell. Let's go. We've got a chance here. Still a lot of time left over 20 seconds he's gonna make one but we're within four points Brian Scalabrini inbound in the ball give it to Kobe let's hit a three he was open oh we had a chance to get a three-pointer in there but Kobe gonna hit the mid-range he said we shoot over those he's gonna go ahead and score it we are within two points Ray Allen's headed to the free throw line I'm assuming both of these are about to drop because I mean it's Ray Allen he's a bucket and he's going to go ahead and hit both. We really need a three-pointer here. About to call our last time out of the game. Shaq, inbound in the ball. Get it to Kobe because we need a three-point bucket. Ball is going to go into Michael Jordan over to Kobe Bryant. We need a quick one. We don't really have time. Kobe fading. Oh, that would have been beautiful if he would have hit it. But this one is over with for real this time. Kobe Bryant, 32 points, 13 assists. Shaq with 28 and Mike with 24. But it wasn't enough and the Bucks are going to take us down in game number one. But in game two, we're coming right back. We end up winning by 16 points. Kobe Bryant with 34, Shaq with 30 and 14, and Michael Jordan with 18. We get the dub. Series all tied up at one apiece heading into game three. Okay, maybe the game one L was a fluke because we end up beating Milwaukee by 36. Mike with 21, Kobe with 38, 11, and 8, and Shaq with 46. Okay, we're deep in our bag right now. Up 2-1 to one in the series. Let's take this 3-1 lead and then get the series over with. Okay, so we're not about to get that 3-1 lead. The Milwaukee Bucks beat us by 13 points. Shaq with 28 and 18. Kobe had 22. MJ with 14. But it's Jones. Alvin Jones 
who ends up hooping for them. He was their leading scorer, and they get the win. No way Shaq, Kobe, and Michael Jordan are letting Alvin Jones drop him off. But we're headed into a game five here. Pivotal game with the series all tied up into a piece. We almost blew that lead in game number five, but we end up beating the Milwaukee Bucks by five points. You see in the second half, we were folding like an omelet. We still ended up finishing the job though. Shaq with 31 and 12, Michael Jordan with 26, Kobe with 19 and 10. As for the Bucks, Sam Cassell, Michael Red, yeah, 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 they all tried, but it wasn't enough. And now we're one game away from completing the three-peat. Looks like we're headed to game seven. Kobe had a couple rough games in a row, and all of a sudden, the Bucks have a chance to beat us here. Let's see how this one goes. I'm super excited. Oh, what happened, Milwaukee? What did Drake say? Embarrassing. Because y'all got cooked. Y'all lost by 26. The three-peat is done with. Kobe Bryant hooping. Shaq hooping. Michael Jordan hooping. We ended up winning another NBA championship. Three-peat is done. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it for y'all. If you did enjoy, like, subscribe. You know all the YouTube stuff. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.